do you see? Yeah. Hey, don't get in front of my M&M. No, 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 my M&M's M &M. in front. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. So for today's episode on another Movie Couple Eats Bite Size, we are having some candy. Um, and Dustin's going to show them off to you guys. First up, we have a Three Musketeers bar. But if you look closely, it is Birthday cake. Oh, so I have to like hide my face. Yeah, there you go. There we go. It's birthday cake flavored. Hold on. There we go. So now it's got like little it. funfetti type of deal in it. We'll open it and show you guys. Let's mm -hmm. show them the next candy. So we've also got some Twix cookies and cream. Interesting. And I'm actually kind of excited for this one because I love me some cookies and cream. And even though I have to admit the commercial for this one is Really weird. Really weird. Really weird. We ate them. The hazelnut M&M. So we're gonna see if this candy is good enough to promote cannibalism. <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna go there with that. Okay, so um, I think we're gonna start with like least excited to most excited, and hmm. I would say least excited for me personally would be the hazelnut M&Ms. I um, I'd, I'd, you know I'd have to agree with you. Okay. At first, I was kind of like, ooh. Just because the commercial kind of rang into your head a little bit to where you're like, oh, that's this better be good kind of a thing. Well, we'll see. But so I'm going to go ahead and put this camera down and so you guys can have a more like stabilized uh, uh, picture of us and we will be right back. Let's go ahead and crack these guys open. It's hard to rip open. Now, Nutella is a hazelnut. That's like essentially what thing, it is. Right? But so it's I pretty think... much like a, haz like a um, Nutella M&M? Yeah, but they can't say Nutella because it's actually... I think like trademarked. Yeah, it's owned so, by a different company. Yeah, so these are kind of like the bigger M&Ms. They can, yeah, they kind of look like the peanut butter ones. Yeah, do you see? Yeah. Hey, don't get in front of my M&M. No, no, my it's M &M's my M&M. We're just going to eat it. Okay, M&M. It just tastes like an M&M. No, no, I taste the hazelnut. I actually like these a lot. It's very, um, mm. it's, it's like... If you were to get an M&M &M that's a little melty on the inside. Yeah. That's what it's, it, it's that's what it's It's naturally softer. Like. Yeah, but it's not just M &M. like straight up chocolate, you know, with with the hazelnut. Mhm. Mm it does have that texture of like the peanut butter, but hazelnut. A little hazelnutty. I mean, that's the thing about M&Ms that I, I've actually noticed throughout the years. Mhm. Mm a lot of their M flavored Sorry. Flavored. What was what did you do? <laughs> I went like this, flavored. That's my quotation marks. Flavor. Um, their flavored M and M's are very, very mild mm. flavoring. Mm -hmm. You know, I haven't had one yet that kind of gives you that punch of whatever flavor it is. Even like their peppermint ones, yeah, aren't very potent. I think for some reason the candy shell on the outside really overpowers whatever flavor they're trying to put in mm. for the rest of them. So generally, when we eat M and M's, we usually go for like. The standard classic peanut M&M &M or the regular plain M&M's. And then sometimes we do the peanut butter one because it's a little bit more distinct. But yeah, yeah. I had to, I have to see agree. I, see if I can get the... What are you trying the, to do? You know, you can kind of crack off the oh, shell. That's too much work for this uh, video. Ah, let's see if I got it. Oh, oh, look. I ah, there it, it goes. Okay, but it's definitely a different color. We are going to move on to the next one. Uh, what would you want to pick to go next? Um, I think I'm most interested and intrigued by the um, birthday cake one, but let's try the cookies and cream. Wow, I thought you were going to flip that. I thought that well, we, I also you were really want to try the cookies and cream okay, right now. Okay, then let's open it. There's four in here, so if this is good, there's a lot to go around. One extra more for each of us. Bar for you. Oh, thank you. Should we crack it open and show them? One, two, three. It, oh, that was a lot softer That's than I expected. That's what it looks like. Um, there, there you go. So it's like got a cookie and cream uh, like layer on top and then kind of like that dark cookie, Oreo cookie part of it, if you will. I was expecting it, it to have good. a little bit more of a crunch to it, too. Mm. Whoops. Ooh. I'm making a mess. Mm. Mm. It's a little weird to eat a Twix without the caramel counterpart. Yeah. But I don't hate it. Mm. But it is less... Flavorful? Yeah. 
caramel just has such a distinct flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you bite into a Twix, you do expect that caramel. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it's not bad. Mm, I don't think I'll get this again. Oh. I kind of don't like it. Oh. Um, I don't know what part of it it is that I don't like. If it's the cookie or the cream. Right Maybe it's a combination of both. No? Okay. Because when I looked at the picture, I really thought it was going to be more of like an Oreo kind of cookie. It is like an Oreo kind of cookie. But it's nowhere near as, you know, an Oreo cookie has a very chocolatey taste. I was really expecting something that potent as a mm. flavor. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll have to agree. The, the cookie part is a little mild. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And separate, it tastes better. I have to admit, when I had just the cookie and just the, the cream, cream part is good. it actually tastes a little bit better. Mm-hmm. But together, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. For our final one, the Three Musketeer Bar, and it's a birthday cake. <laughs> and on the tagline, it says, You are my one wish. Aww. Very cute. Let's give it a try. Yeah, I'm really curious about how this one's going to For be. you. Oh, thank you very much. And of course, for me, the break. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, there's no like funfetti no, in there. No, there is, but it's very, very slight. I don't know if you guys can Aww, see. Oh, what a jet. You guys see that? It just looks like the white nougat that. Looks like a marshmallow cream. Mm -hmm. But yeah, con compare it to what's on the wrapper. Like, this is just. False not, advertising. I mean, I expected. All right. I don't know what, if I was expecting anything better than this. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. I mean, if you gave me this and said, hey, guess what kind of flavor this is? I wouldn't be able to tell you. Cake frosting. Frosting. Oh! That's what it. That's, that's what, what they're going for. Yeah. Okay. This is more of like, yeah, it's not birthday cake. Mm -hmm. It's cake frosting. Like, it really does have more of that kind of flavor to it. I mean, I can get behind that 100%. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Hmm. Okay. So out of the three that we tried, the M&M, mm. the Twix cookie and cream, cookies and cream, and the um, Three Musketeers birthday cake, what would you say is your favorite? Hmm. And I, I think I'm going to have to go backwards from the direction that we ate. I have to say that the Three Musketeers was better than the Twix, and the Twix was better than the M&M's. So out of all of them, yes, the Three okay, Musketeers I was like, bar but the question is, was, what's out of favorite? these three, <laughs> the Three Musketeers bar is the winner. Mm -hmm. However, I do have to put a caveat on that. I don't think I'd ever buy any of these again. Yeah, I have to agree with that. I have to admit, I mean, I'm like, okay, it tastes like a, it's a good candy, but I'd much rather have a regular Three Musketeers or a regular Twix mm -hmm. or a regular or peanut M&M's. I'd much rather have peanut M&M's. Yeah, nothing really jumped out at me that's like, I'm like, whoa, but... I have to get this whenever they're available, kind of a thing. But yeah. But it did look interesting, which is what what grabbed my attention when I was at the store. And I thought, oh. All part of the marketing ploy. Get you with the advertising. Mm-hmm. With the gimmick. Well, you guys, let us know in the comment section below if you've seen any different flavoring of candy that's kind of to the equivalent of like a cookies and cream Twix. Let us know, put the comments, uh, put your comment in the comment section below, and we will see you next time. Oh, and if you guys on... get a chance, if you have any recommendations on fun things to try, I would love some, like, maybe like you see something out in the store, and you're like, oh my gosh, I've never seen this before. I'd love, let us know. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.